What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Investing with Jacks. Good morning from Canada. So I'll quickly let you guys know as well, just in case you didn't catch my Bitcoin video. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I will be on planes and in airports. So most likely there won't be any videos because all my camera gear and my laptop will be in my luggage. So I just want to let you guys know, all right? <laughs> Hopefully everything goes smoothly. <laughs> so we're going to talk about poly Polygon, guys. Currently we're sitting at a dollar seven. We're down about 3.5% on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of 6.74 billion. And the 24 hour volume has come down quite a bit, guys. We're at 499 million. It looks like we may be coming down to that one dollar range however there are some patterns that are showing that we might break it all right guys so we're gonna hop into that hey if you're new to crypto.com you can sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app through my referral and receive 25 dollars in crypto so we're gonna start here on the weekly now polygon is a very strong project we haven't we're yet to break the 20 ema on the weekly so many projects have already broken the the 20 ema we did get quite overextended but it just shows the strength of polygon you can see we're coming back down towards this one dollar range um so we're here on the daily chart let me open this up for you guys so we're having the bearish cross you see the 20 ema is coming underneath the 55 um, which shows us that we're going to continue to trend downwards. Remember, guys, you're underneath the EMAs. You have the bearish cross. You're in a downtrend. You get back above them. You have the bullish cross. Up you go. <laughs> and it looks like we're coming down to that $1 range, but we're going to hop into the four-hour, I believe. Yes, the four-hour chart. So you can see here on the four hour, I pulled my Fibonacci swing low, swing high, and we've broken the gold in ratio, which shows us that we're going to come down to this one dollar price target of course it's not guaranteed but there's a much higher probability of course there's support in this range where we're currently sitting at about a dollar six but there is quite a higher probability that we're coming down to that one dollar range we also have a head and shoulders pattern right here left shoulder head right shoulder and we'll drop in our neckline would be kind of right around here it's kind of a weird way that it formed here but your breakdown target from this head and shoulders if we go all the way up to our wick here brings you down to about 92 cents so let, let's give it a little target pretty close to the 1.414 extension which is at 92 cents and remember guys you break the golden ratio you reverse the trend you come back to where you started and in many cases the 1.272 which is at 94 cents so let's hop over to the hourly chart now guys if you're interested in learning trading i have made a full tutorial on leverage trading you can make money on the way up and on the way down currently i shorted bitcoin and ethereum when i saw some chart patterns and I'm in making some good profits. So if you'd like to learn leverage trading, there's a full tutorial in the description as well as at the end of the video. So you can see here on the one hour chart, we're underneath the EMAs. We're finding a little bit of support here, the 0.786. However, we do have that breakdown target of 92 cents. And of course, we're back underneath the golden ratio. I don't wanna to get too redundant here. And um, I did talk about us coming back and testing our uh, broadening channel as support here this level of resistance that we broke through looks like we, we may come back down to uh, back test it as support now guys if we do bounce the bearish scenario is more probable right now but if we were to bounce from this level i'll always drop in your levels of resistance uh where can i drop one probably the 0.5 it would be a level of resistance you can see right here support support in this area as well as basically i'm just going to leave a dollar 11 and a dollar 24 as your levels of uh resistance if we do see a bounce here however um the bearish scenario is more probable so let's hop over into ethereum so we're here on the daily for ethereum and we broke out of our double bottom we came up we hit that resistance i had dropped in for you guys at 22.59 and we rolled over and now you can see we're back testing the support line of our double bottom, which is around 2036. Now, if we lose this, guys, it invalidates that pattern. We continue trending downwards. You can see our candle is underneath the 20 EMA. So even if we see a little bounce, if we start hitting it as resistance, which is what we've been doing for a month and a half, resistance, 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 <laughs> then we'll see a continuation to the downside. And we have that technical target. I do not know if we'd come all the way down to 1412, which is the previous swing high of the last bull run um, because if we do come down to those levels and it, it shows a higher probability of a bear market and um, I'm still quite bullish on Bitcoin Ethereum and on crypto overall and, and I don't see Bitcoin coming down to 20k but it is a possibility so we're here on the four hour chart for 
Ethereum. You can see we're underneath the EMAs. We are holding that support I talked about yesterday. I said if you do see us come down, we'll most likely find support at 2034, which is exactly where we found support. Support, resistance in this area. See all this resistance? And you can see right here, support in this area, tons of support in this area. And right now, that's where we're holding support. However, if we jump into the hourly chart, you're going to see a head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Uh, the right shoulder didn't form beautifully here but it's still a head and shoulders pattern and your breakdown target would bring you down right here at 1875 and you can see right now we've broken the neckline and we're basically back testing that neckline as resistance so the more we hit it as resistance the higher probability that we do see that rollover so what we're going to do here we'll use our famous fibonacci <laughs> swing low swing high there's a YouTuber, what's his what's his channel name? I can't remember, but he calls the Fibonacci the Fettuccine. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think his name's Tyler. Um, his channel is absolutely hilarious. Okay, so we've dropped in our Fibonacci and you can see our head and shoulders target is 1875 and we would break the golden ratio. I did talk about that level, or I believe it was around 19, 1914. We lose out, we reverse the trend. We have our, our uh, bottom here right around 1702 and i'll also drop in the 1.272 at 1584 so if you do see us continue to hit resistance along our neckline do expect us to come down to 1914 our technical target is 1875 we lose the golden ratio we reverse the trend if we do see a bounce of course the bearish scenario is more probable right now with all these patterns we're in a downtrend we're underneath the emas but if we do bounce i'll drop in this level of resistance 2139 and this level as well 2291 so that's it for this one guys you can see we have broken this neckline um, so it could be a good opportunity for a short trade down to 1875 and if you'd like to learn leverage trading please check out the the tutorial and sign up through my bybit link to receive up to 600 dollars in uh, sign up bonuses all right guys so that's it for this one uh, we still have those future price targets with Matic, my apologies, my mouth, um, I get a little bit of like, not like burps, but almost like I talk so much that my my throat is like, no more. And we do have these future price targets. If we don't break this bottom at um, 72 cents, we have the future price targets of 1.272, $3.81, 465 the 1.618 at $6.15, and that guesstimate here at $10 for Matic. So that's it for this one, guys. If it brought it you any value, smash that like button. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Check out the Discord. Over 1,000 members talking all things crypto. And I'm posting chart patterns in there as well. Um, and uh, that's it. Hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Much love. Mm -hmm.